Hi, I'm Margot Silver and I've been uh, selling olive oils to Hermes for many, many years now. I'm absolutely passionate about olive oil, passionate about food, and we'll be doing a cooking course today, but I did want to talk a little bit about some of the very special olive oils that Herma carries in her store. Herma has uh, carefully chosen over the years some very, very special olive oils. These olive oils um, have not been cut with sunflower oil or canola oil. They're all good quality state olive oils. This is one of Herma's favorite olive oils. This is her workhorse. Uh, she uses this in a lot of the dishes that she prepares in the store. It's an estate oil certified by the Oil Masters Corporation. It's from Garda Lake and uh, it is um, uh, not bitter and it's a, what you call a great quality price olive oil. Herma also carries the Miram. This is actually from the same producer up at Lake Garda. Um, it's a beautifully balanced olive oil between the fruitiness, the lack of bitterness, um, just love, light, lovely light uh, peppiness. It's a fruity delicate. The Frantoio Valtanese, that's a fruity medium. So you do have olive oils, there's a fruity light, fruity medium, and a fruity pepperiness. And depending what you're making, you may want to use a different olive oil. When it comes to olive oil, you'll find that it's you have a fruity component, you have a peppery component, and then you have a bitterness. Bitterness is not always bad. If it's mashed up with sweet potato, for example, it, it counterbalances. Um, so you, when you start tasting what I call real olive oils, you're going to get that fruitiness, the pepperiness. And again, I can put out several of these olive oils and everybody might like it, something different. This Graco from Puglia. Now Puglia is one of the biggest producing regions of olive oil in Italy. This is a donacillato. So what's happened is the, the olives have been pitted before they're pressed. So it's got a nice butteriness in it. There's only one olive variety, the Paranansa, in this olive oil. Uh, having an olive variety can be a good or a bad thing depending on the olive variety. If it's a, mo they call it a mono cultivar, so an olive oil just made with one olive. Again, if it's a nice, sweet tasting olive, it's delicious. But if it's a bitter olive, it wouldn't be as nice. But mo lo most olive oils and even high-end ones are kind of like Bordeaux wines, you might have two or three different olive varieties in them. Uh, I'm now just going to move to uh, the Galantino. Galantino is a very famous producer, also from Puglia. Uh, we have, uh, again, we have some really special oils here. We have the Affurato. Now Affurato refers to the olive oil before the actually the olives are pressed, there's a modern version of taking the runoff, so it's the oil that rises to the surface. And this is made with two different olive varieties, the Coratina and I can never pronounce it very well, but the Oliera. Uh, we also then have the organic olive oil, those for who, again, there's very little pesticides used in any of these producers. These are small estate producers. This Terra de Berry has that fruitiness and pepperiness. Again, it's a certified, a regional certification, the DOPs. Galantino, as I said, they do have the Affirato. That's the uh, olive oil I talked about earlier. The Affirato. This Grand Cru is the, is the owner's special production. There's only 5,000 bottles produced. It's a limited edition using five different olive varieties. It's his Grand Cru olive oil. So this is for when somebody wants a lot of complexity in their olive oil. It is for, the, for if you know, it is for an olive oil lover. Uh, one of her other favorite, favorite products and a big following on is the lemon infused olive oil. Now the lemons are actually pressed with the olives. Again, it's certified by the Old Masters Corporation and we use this on uh, asparagus, we use it on salmon, fish, uh, fantastic uh, on an orzo salad, uh, the list goes on and on, chicken with rosemary, 
so uh, we have uh, people have got to know this uh, product and they keep returning for it and we'll be using this a lot again in our cooking class today. Uh, classic vinaigrettes, you want to use a beautiful uh, champagne vinegar, it comes from Reims and a Bordeaux vinegar. So if you're, for example, if you're making your classic mustard vinaigrette, you always want to have a nice quality uh, vinegar. And again, this has a mother, so it's not an industrialized uh, vinegar. The basil olive oil, this is one of the ones that just tastes like fresh basil. Again, uh, this is from Olivier in France. It just tastes like the real thing. It's very, very fresh basil. Again, from Olivier, these are other two products that are just uh, wonderful. The grapefruit lemon pulp. So you have a pulp vinegar. Now this grapefruit lemon pulp mixed with the lemon oil is a fantastic combination. We also have the mango pulp vinegar, which is also great in an Indian sal salad, uh, spinach salad with pecans. These are absolutely delicious. Now I'm just going to talk about just a little bit about the balsamics that that, uh, that we have in Herma's store. Herma carries the belly balsamics from Modena. These are 100% certified Modena vinegars. The belly is a very well known, very highly respected balsamic producer. We have the 3, 5 and 8 and the 12 year old. Very high musk content. Uh, and there is a jump between the sweetness, the natural sweetness, between the three, the five, and the eight. The, the five-year-old you might use just in your salads, nice green salad with a nice little olive oil, an estate olive oil. The eight-year-old has an, that extra sweetness, delicious on sliced tomatoes uh, with a little bit of bocconcini cheese. Then you have the 12-year, which is that next level up and it is great on Parmigiano Reggiano. It's fantastic on strawberries or ice cream, and it has a, uh, a good viscosity to it. Uh, so these are wonderful selling balsamics. And again, the, the, they've been written up in many uh, magazines for quality and price point. Um, so it's a great, it's the summertime, so it's great to use all these wonderful products, the olive oils, the balsamics. And uh, uh, the best thing to do is, is come in and uh, have a taste here. And uh, Herma's always very pleased just to come out and give you a tasting.